everyone and welcome back. I'm going to get straight on with it. We're going to go from this to this. Um, I think it's always quite nice to know what you're going to get at the end of the result. Hopefully, you know, you might stay to watch and enjoy and learn. Um, I had a few comments um, uh, last week about my channel not being as it's labelled, as in Speed Beauty, and they wanted to be quicker, faster and more informative. I suppose I'd got into a full sense of security of just like chatting to you like you're my mates. Um, even though obviously it's a one-way conversation, but not really, because I like to listen and read. I like to read your comments. Um, so I'm going to make this a little bit concise and a little bit more punchy rather than chit-chatty, and then you'll let me know what you think. Right, I have started with my SPF. Um, now, La Roche-Posay, really wonderful, small, little bottles for the SPF, and it's brilliant about the Anthelios SPF 50, and it's ultra-long UVA protection, and it's in matte and it's in the normal kind of lotion, um, which gives a little bit of a sheen, but it's not a glossy finish at all. Um, it's just fantastic that you get the invisible fluid and then you get the oil control as a little bit of an option. So it's always kind of nice to um, give a, the same product, but in different formulations, because I know a lot of you struggle, struggle with trying to kind of mattify your skin after you've used your SPF. Now, I would apply quite a generous amount, but I apply the amount my SPF on a normal day, not when I'm filming, after I've cleaned my teeth or before I've cleaned my teeth. And it's probably been on my skin about 15 minutes before I put makeup on. When I put it on and then put makeup on, it's just for the purposes of showing you what I'm using. It's not what I would use for coverage because someone um, understandably pointed out that isn't really enough. And um, they were correct. Right, I'm going in with a really, really light base. I'm going to use a couple of e.l.f. products. This is the new e.l.f. bronzing drops, which is super fun. And my Halo Glow. So this is the shade Fair, um, and I'm going to start with this. I'm sort of um, in the mood for, I love the big doe foot on these, because it just allows me to kind of get my like warrior glow stripes on. You know how I like to kind of always talk about makeup in that kind of like Hur! way where it gives you a little bit of a superpower. Well, this definitely does. I think in these kind of like warmer times, it's just really, really nice to be able to use soft light layers and then just target the areas of the skin that you want to minimise, or even out, like me for my pigmentation. Um, but just for the glow, just a little bit on my chin, my skin is dry. Um, on these high points, I love to put the glow on my face, and then I will use like a nice firm buff buffing, buffing brush, like the rose ink one, just to push it around and soften into those areas that isn't stripey, right? But you're just kind of getting that nice little lift off. I put a little bit of a light on the film today. Let me know what you think. I'm just wondering whether the makeup was looking a tad boring. Not that I'm having a confidence crisis or anything about the channel, but I was just thinking maybe it all just looks a bit flat and meh. So we're just changing a few little things up and see what you think. That is as simple as it goes. Oh my gosh, I've got to tell you, no, stop, pause a minute. I found a really lovely eye perfecter. You are gonna love this. Like you know how much I loved the beauty pie or love the Beauty Pie Concealer. This is just as beautiful, slightly more hydrating, and it's more kind of skincare than it is coverage. If you are some, oh, let me find the, why is that not focusing, that's it. Um, if you find that you're one of those people, let me just show you on one eye, I put it on before my makeup, so that was why I thought of it before I put my concealer on, um, that when you put your concealer on, you know, it just kind of pinches your skin. It makes it a little bit dry and tight. This is so beautiful because the radiance that you see here, this kind of like cream effect lasts all day and it works so lovely with the concealer. Um, and again, you know how much I love texture and the feel of makeup. That is just as important as how much um, the effect is and the look that you get at the end. Um, this is just beautiful. It's, I've been so excited to tell you about this. It comes I wish, it comes in this little squeezy pot like this. And I'm like, I think it must be like, was it like 20 mil or something like that? Um, eight mil. She's very tiny. I have to give a little squeeze and then pop her out. One little squeeze is enough for one eye, but it is so lovely. And it just neutralizes and minimize minimizes fine lines but in this kind of sort of like really soft nurturing effect and finish 
So if that is one of your bugbears and it's not full coverage, you can add the concealer underneath as you can see, but it's just giving that really kind of sumptuous radiance um, to our under eyes, which is so, so nice. And again, I've said this so many times before, you don't often get that longevity with a product that the radiance lasts. It comes some, somehow evaporates. Right, so here we are, I've got no coverage. I'm gonna go in now with my Vive um, Modern Radiance Concealer. Okay, so this is a full coverage concealer, which I place over all the areas that I need a little bit of evening out. And again, I will blend, put it on my skin like so, just around the nose area, cheeks, pigmentation. It's a little bit darker because it blends super well into the skin. It's got this nice slip, but it, oh my gosh, it really, really um, travels. You need the smallest amount. So you can see now how kind of haphazard that application is, right? It's not a clean application. Then you go in with your firm brush and you just whisk these two textures together. And these two textures together gives you a light finish, right? It doesn't mean that you overload it. We're all so guilty, especially, not guilty, we make the mistake of applying products that are highly pigmented and brilliant at what they're meant to be doing, but we overdo it. And then you time to get it in little creases around your eyes, around your nose, it looks heavy, it dries out. Um, and getting a nice firm brush like this, mixing them two together on your skin just gives you this lovely soft radiance which looks natural. I hope you agree. I'm gonna give it the, um, oh, actually I was thinking that's gonna be an oil and water formula, but it's not. I mean, I have been using this for a while, but anyway, that's just, um, that's just habit, okay. So these are really, really soft and light, but I'm going straight in with the brush this time. And it's just one brush, so it's a great way to um, demonstrate what you can do just with one brush. And the beauty of one brush, right? The beauty of one brush is that you kind of mix everything together ever so slightly. So you get a bit of sheen, you get a little bit of coverage. But look how, um, oh gosh, how soft and caramel the effect of this warm. Look how good I look. I mean, okay, I'm not saying that arrogantly. Please don't take me the wrong way. Those of you who know, me and have followed me for a long time knows that not doesn't come from a place of arrogance at all i'm saying look how good the makeup looks on my skin and poof already that has given me radiance and shine in the most natural natural way always just a little bit on the neck lovely okay good i'm going to pause there and just brush through my brows I've got a really good brow product. I'll show you that next week. I'm just going to keep this nice and simple. Let's turn off the emails. I had to do a driver awareness course this morning. Um, and actually, I wasn't looking forward to it because it's one of those things you like just got to put in the diary before it, you know, expires or you haven't organised it. It's actually very informative. Just thought I'd let you know that. Also, I was brushing my eyebrows. So I'm going to show you the Pat McGrath Longwear Eyeshadow. This is in Smouldering Seduction. Um, and I've used a couple of these and I'm so happy with the longevity of them. I've used them at work. They've, they've thinned down really, really well and I love the effect and they're very multi-pigmented so it gives a really lovely dimension. It's so easy. Um, a lot of the cream eyeshadows I love, as you know, because I love that kind of like soft aesthetic to the eye. But this formula, I have to say, is really, really impressive. So I'm going to apply it straight from the doe foot and I'm wedging it right, right in between my lashes. Like so that when I open my eye and I look straight to the camera, straight to my friend or whoever I'm looking at, you get that nice um, concentration of colour, right? And that's really, really important because if you place the colour on your lid, on the top part of your lid and then blend it through, it can be a bit wishy-washy. So you don't really see it. Look how gorgeous this is. Now there isn't a huge amount of playtime before you buff it in and because we want to get a nice soft socket we need to act quickly but I like to put lots of the product on making sure that I'm not taking it too far down and bringing it on the inside 
Okay, so this is a 142 sort of a concealer brush, but it's nice and rounded, but it's firm because I want a good smudge of this because I want to be able to really soften that edge of that dark, rich shadow. And then I want to buff it. If you use something that's too soft, the brush is going to bend and you're going to end up with quite a, a solid placement of color. I want to really push this right out up into the socket so that you get that nice wash of color. So I haven't got that heaviness on the hooded area of my eye that gets knocked back, but that's soft and always keeping it in my mind's eye that I've got that lovely angular part. I'm not bringing this down too much. But how lovely is this color? Really, really complimentary against um, a nice soft tan skin. So I've been absolutely loving these. I don't know. I don't even know if they're new. I don't think they're new. I'm going to do some research um, after I've made this film actually, because um, I feel like I need to go to a store and have a look at Pat McGrath. I've seen a few little bits. I buy a few little bits, but you know, you just think, oh, that's really, really nice. And for me at work, it photographed really well as well. Okay. So you place, you can see how that's slightly lighter this side. So again, I didn't push enough into that root there. It's like a sort of strawberry, sort of raspberry chocolate finish. Now also you can see here the difference because I've smudged that out nice and beautifully and that's quite hard and dense on my lid. It makes my lid look so much smaller, right? So again, pushing that up, pushing that up. And then it just stays in place. Love, love, love. Okay, so to intensify this look, I actually probably don't need to do it, but I'm going to use the um, waterproof, ultra precise um, Tante Idel Longcomb eyeliner because I love the long tip to this, which allows me to get right into this inner corner, giving me the sharpness in this area, which I love. But I'm only bringing it out to the outer third and then I'm going to stop because that's where my eye tends to collapse on the outside. So I don't want any hard lines on those sides, right? Because it's just going to look like a heartbeat and be a little crinkly, but it just gives that little bit of sharpness either side, right? So a nice, long, fine tip. And I like this one because it's matte. It's not too shiny and it just gives that nice definition, but I don't want it to be black because like I said, I want this to be nice and smoldery. And again, I'm, when I come to the center of the lid this way around, I'm basically painting my lashes. You can't see it at the side, right? Love, love, love. So just let that waft down a little bit. Don't think I need any more tan. Well, that's, oh, just kick the camera. <laughs> um, I might just give myself a wee bit of powder. I think the biggest challenge in the summertime or anyone with an oily skin is we always want to be, this is Kozas by the way, really love their products. Um, this is called Cloud Set. Again, it's a really, really beautiful, soft powder. Um, I'm just gonna powder down there and over my top lip because by powdering over my top lip, that just minimizes my fine lines, but you don't want too much glow. You want the glow on the sides of the face to really kind of lift and elevate. So just bear that in mind. Okay, I think we are gonna go in with a little bit of the Rimmel Scandalize. If you like a soft cold pencil and you don't wanna spend a truckload, these are beautiful. This is 003 Brown. And I'm gonna go in with this and I'm gonna paint it on the waterline. It's a nice warm chocolatey brown not too dark, but I'm also just trickling it underneath and just pulling it out on this outer corner there very, very slightly, right? Because that will help me just kind of, woof, you see how effective that is. Sometimes you can put a water, uh, sorry, sometimes you can put a really soft coal on your waterline and it shrinks your eye. But because we've done that lovely wash, it makes all the difference. 
okay and just extending it out on this outer corner just gives you a little bit more shape and it brings your eyes out it's such a lovely way to enhance your eyes without overpowering them but giving them that sharp definition okay so we are going to go in with a flash false mascara from beauty pie now you have heard me talk about this forever and ever and ever it is just one of those mascara wands that is fantastic i love a small mascara wand okay or a flat mascara wand because i like control i like to get the mascara right to the roots of the lashes because the point of mascara is not to tint your lashes the point of mascara is to lift and open out your eyes and in order to get the lift you need to get the lashes to elevate especially if they are really lazy meaning they're straight so obviously you can curl your lashes um, you can perm your lashes you can use products that um, elongate and help your lashes grow but using a small brush in my humble opinion just gives you a little bit of control um, and it enables you to get a decent amount of mascara on without you know using a twisted bristle which I tend to find gets a little messy um, and you can just get really nice defined lashes so all the way around on the second coat lifting this the key thing is you really want to just see the tips of those lashes right when you look straight in the mirror you can lift the lid like I do you can look down into your mirror we all have our mascara faces don't we <laughs> the faces that we pull and maybe you're doing your mascara with me I love the fact that you guys might like the look and then copy it with what you have um I've never done that before um I guess I wouldn't I'd probably do something similar I'd probably do that with cooking right I'd, well try and but that's even worse because those cooking edits they are really they put you in a full sense of security that you can whack out a really lovely gorgeous colorful tasty dish in 10 minutes or, or probably like 90 seconds a length of a reel um, and then it takes much much longer okay so just putting these dashes down and I like I love putting mascara on the lower lashes I don't often do it the older I've got because I like that lift and elevation but sometimes if you're feeling like you want that nice sort of doughy eyed finish it's nice and I like change you know I get bored with the same thing so it's quite nice do I want any more bronze I don't think I do I think I'm quite happy with that okay I was going to use a little bit of my Merit terracotta which is super super handy maybe let me just try a little bit of a no let me just blend that in no that's enough because the eyes are strong and I'm in a just a, a casual t-shirt so it's nice to keep the kids skin soft now I have these wonderful high shine um lip crayons from number seven recommended to me from a client of mine it's a slightly lighter one um, I've gone for desert rose and it is a really really light texture but it also gives a great shape to your lips you can see how it works on mine let me just use a little bit of a beauty pie liner first This one is the same color as my lips it's vanilla nude so obviously you can use a slightly darker one if you want to make that shadow under your lip a little stronger just something I do at work a lot but for me personally I don't this is just very nice giving me a good shape before I um, go in with something light on my lips because my eyes are strong I don't want to lose my lip shape I still want to have that nice balance but I don't want it to be overpowering good so that's a bit like 
I would never leave it like that because it's too bleh, against everything else. So pop this on. Comes in a really nice big sort of chubby sticks. Reminds me of those sort of old Clinique ones. Or maybe they're not old. Maybe um, they still do them. I don't know. I've seen them in a while. It's hard to keep up with everything, right? Anyway, so backwards and forwards. Right over the lip line. I mean, it's like I've had my lips done. Um, but as my client said, uh, it doesn't feel, just be careful, Caroline, not to go too high over that because this is a shiny product. It, uh, it doesn't feel like it's super wet or glossy. It doesn't even feel particularly balmy. I mean, <laughs> I really do have new lips, but it's soft. Good product, hey? They got. I went. Um, I think I bought three colours. One was out of stock um, because I wanted to see how they all looked, and I thought this one would be good for this particular vibe mm. of today. And you know that I will never promote or show you anything that I wouldn't love um, to have on my own face because I think that's hopefully what you can tr trust from me anyway that I just love the feel and sensation of makeup on my face anyway I hope it was quicker well, I hope it was informative and um I can't wait to um read what you think um I hope you like the look and I'll see you next week bye for now